Hola Eagles, happy Tuesday. I hope we're all having a good parent conference minimum week. Today I have two amazing guests with myself. Uh, Mr. Herb. Yay! No one's clapping for you. No one's clapping. Mr. Mario. Hey. Uh, you guys all know them. Obviously they're our, they're our day custodians. They work very hard at keeping this campus clean. Uh, that's one of the many things they do. Uh, you know, when a student accidentally, Mr. Moore, my backpack, it got up on the roof somehow. I don't know how it got there. Who gets it down? Mr. Herb. Yeah, what? Mario, the tables. It's raining. I need them up. Who puts the tables up? Mr. Mario. This school could not function without these two. So they're here to help us today. Um, the uh, Our expectation, the respect. And one thing about respect, you guys, I just want you to remember, it means different things to different people. It means different things to different kids, different adults. So you always keep that in mind when you're treating somebody with respect. Your expectations for respect might be different than that person's expectations for respect as well. It's how they were raised, if there's cultural backgrounds, etc. So let's always work very hard at being respectful to everyone on this campus, adults and kids alike. So Mr. Herb, you have eighth grade. Mr. Mario, you have seventh grade. Uh, how about you start, Mr. Mario? So Mr. Mario, you're just gonna grab a name, read the name and teacher. Okay, we have first uh, Jeffrey Montalvo. Uh, this is from Miss Serrato. Jeffrey Montalvo. He probably dressed for PE and got one. <laughs> that's that's probably, pretty easy, that's right? That's probably what he did. Let me show you something we do here, Mr. Mario. Um, okay. Can I alley-oop this to you? Sure. Right, alley-oop. Oh. In the basket. <laughs> in the basket. Hey. Good boys, right? Right, right. <laughs> Jeffrey Montalvo, come to Route 24 and get a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up we have uh, Nicholas Caso. Nicholas Casso, I could not say that better myself. Nicholas Casso, come to Route 24, and the teacher is Miss Torres. Miss Torres. I'm sure you're acting responsibly. Good job, Nicholas. Good job. All right. All last right. one for seventh last grade. Last one. Last one is Emily Perez. Miss Mark Carey. It says alert. Good. You weren't sleeping in class. Outstanding. That's very good. And the right response. You were paying attention in math class, Emily Perez. Great job, Emily. Herb, you want to do the honors for this one? Oh, I'm like Mary. I missed two. No, mine went in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. Okay, seventh graders, great job. Great um, job, seventh graders. Come to room twenty-four and get your shirts. Mario, uh, Mr. Herb, let's go eighth grade. Eighth grade, uh, Catherine Jaseka or Fonseca. Caitlin Fonseca, her, but you were close. <laughs> and this is, <laughs> we'll take it. Caitlin, Caitlin Fonseca and Mrs. Carnahan. Ooh. Ooh. She does not hand those out no. easily. No. Yeah, I wonder what Caitlin did. <laughs> Caitlin, you're going to have to tell me what you did in room 24, okay? There you go, her. And. That's a gentle touch, gentle touch. <laughs> Nicholas Sahiko. Saltikov. Saltikov. Nicholas Saltikov. <laughs> And that was Mr. Sansoni. Good job, Nicholas. Um, come to 24, get your shirt. Right, last one, Mr. Herb, eighth grade. Eighth grade. Either one? Yep. Cool. That's what I like. Megan Campos. Megan Campos, or Campos, one of the two, actor responsible in her school in Miss Funes' class. Megan, 24, shirt. Oh Miss Funes, nice job. Done. That's a done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can be a little, a little bit funny. But, you know, okay, um, it's all good. let's go with um, who do I have? I have seventh grade. No, I have eighth grade. Yes, sixth grade. Yeah, so I have sixth, sixth grade, grade right in front of me. Hello, Mr. Sixth Moore. Sixth grade. Okay. First one is Dominic Relgado. Regalado or Relgado? Act responsibly from Miss Miller. Mr. Dominic, come to 24, shirt. Good job. We'll try it again. All right. Oh, there we go. Over two. Wow. I mean, Kobe Bryant in his last year or something. <laughs> <laughs> or LeBron James this year. Hey, what, are the, what are the odds of the, the Lakers in the playoffs this year? Right? Uh, I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ramon Espinosa from Miss Bluth. Come to 24, Ramon. Nice job, Ramon. Ramon. Oh, jeez, Herb. You have glasses on for a reason. And got for a reason. And that's all right. We'll get it one. Okay. <laughs> and last is Isabella Sullis. And Miss Andrea, one of our new nades, gave it to her. So Isabella, solace sixth grade, come to 24. 
Andrea, I would cover your duty, but that's kind of your job, but I will be out there during sixth grade lunch and seventh grade lunch. Andrea, deal? Deal, perfect. Isabella, come to 24, and we'll be good to go. Sure. All right. Good okay, job. so you guys, yes. what is there any message you want to tell our eagles? Yes, I have a message mm -hmm. for all the eagles. Uh, we're talking about respect, mm -hmm. right, Mr. Moore? Mm -hmm. And respect comes in the form of be responsible and throwing your own trash away. How'd I know you guys say that? How'd I know? It's countless minutes and seconds yeah. that it takes to pick up after you, yeah. and you're old enough to know yeah. how to throw your own trash away. So please help me out. Help Mr. Herba and throw your trash properly in the trash can that's provided for you. How, how, how cleaner could our school be if you guys didn't have to focus those 10, 15 minutes cleaning up that lunch area? Every nutrition is two nutrition. And every lunch is two lunches. If you guys can have to take that time after every single eating time, how much cleaner could our school be? It could be much cleaner. The I thing agree. is that we, it takes at least 20, 25 minutes to really get it clean, pick up all the papers, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, even in the restrooms, the restrooms, oh. they, 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 it's, it's a mess in the restrooms. Not the girls' restroom, right? So. Not the girls' restroom. No, not the no, girls' restroom. No, of course not. <laughs> I've never yeah, been no, there myself, but I'm just assuming <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> but the guys, oh my gosh, you're right. Thank you. Touch on that, please. Lots of paper yeah. on the ceiling, on yeah. the walls. I, I mean. And flush the toilets, right? Flush How hard the, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, just flush the toilet. It's not, yeah. it's not hard. No, it's yeah. easy. Well, it's not as easy as dressing for PE, but it's right. pretty dang easy to flush sure, the toilet. Sure. And a lot of them are automatic. You know, they just have to be, get up and that's it. They flush by themselves. Yeah. So it's, it's, the the ones that we don't have that, that uh, flush automatically, well, they're the ones we have problems with. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, if we can, let's please try to keep the restrooms cleaner than what we're doing right now. That'd be greatly mm -hmm. appreciated, please. Great. Restrooms and trash after the eating times. Yes. I think that will help us all out. I think so. Uh, yes. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Yes. Mr. Herb, how long have you worked in our district for? Uh, 22 years. 22 years? Yes. Very cool. Mr. Mario? I am going on my fifth year. Fifth year, yeah. Yes. It goes quick. Very cool. Well, thank you guys for helping out. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Out. I know you guys are some of those unsung heroes, as they say, <laughs> of our school. So you got to that term, right? But you guys are great. So keep <laughs> it up. Thank you. All right, thank you guys, Eagles. Um, until next week, um, remember, walk on the right and act kind. I'll see you guys later.